just go nuts. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. It's not going nuts, it's going bananas. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Hello everybody, welcome back to While They Were Napping, and they really are napping this time. So this is my friend Patrick Levis. Oh. Hi. <laughs> And this is my daughter, Evan Mack, yeah. who's eating your puzzles, I'm Go sorry. Go for it. Fiber. <laughs> so, Patrick. <laughs> Pitch it to me in the <laughs> studio. Yeah, oh my goodness. How did you get your start in acting? Uh, boy, long time ago, <laughs> long time ago, I was yeah. not as young as her, but I was a young boy. Um, I started in the theater. That's mm -hmm. kind of why lately my, what I've gotten into a lot um, in addition to acting. She can come in and out of it too. It's okay. okay. <laughs> It'll be like miracle of editing. Okay, poof! Where did Evan go? <laughs> where did you go? <laughs> if my child pops in and out of the shot from time to time. <laughs> or the pie tripod goes over. Wiggles. So you so were like acting and I stuff started as an actor as a young kid and it's why my, my whole life really has kind of been a lot about music. Okay. Um, my daughter's wandering around on the floor. Um, I started in musical theater. I did a musical called Big. It was the Broadway musical version of the movie Big with Tom Hanks. Awesome. And I played the little kid who put the coin in the machine and wished he was big, and the next morning he wakes up and he's essentially Tom Hanks, middle-aged dude. Um, so they made a musical of it. This was back in 1994, I believe. So, oh, wow. I have almost uh, been in the world of entertainment for, well, it's probably been over two decades now. So I was what, definitely wow. the... old. I am. <laughs> so uh, it's the 30-year-old no, woman. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Uh, no yeah. worries there. I'm 31. I now have a child of my own. I'm happily married. My lovely wife, Natalie, came down with us on this trip. Oh, she's so sweet. Yeah. This is the first time I really got to meet her. Oh man, super, super <laughs> out awesome. of my league. My Aww. wife. And then you did Disney Channel. Yeah. Oh well, I mean, I, you don't want me to take you all the way through my years, but uh, for me, four to six years of my career was on the Disney Channel. Um, if you're 30 plus years old, then you would have seen. Uh, some of the shows that I did on Disney Channel, So Weird, was a show for a few years on the Disney Jack, Channel. Jack, hello. That's right. <laughs> and then a couple of movies, one of which I'm still, to this day, people are recognizing me for because there was just something about this movie called Brink. A oh, yeah, yeah. So, but anyways, I have guys come up to me and, you know, they're, you know, getting up there in age and not rollerblading anymore at all and they'd be like, dude, I remember summer vacation just watching Brink and going out and hitting the half pipe. If you're a fan of Brink, comment below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, rock. I love it. I love it. It's, it's always fun. It's been many years, but I love talking about it. So. Yeah. yeah, and now I, was, uh, I know that uh, some of your viewers may be into the latest show that I worked on, which was Nick Jr.'s the Fresh Beat fan. Uh, yeah. yeah. Go Bananas is like <laughs> the biggest thing. Yeah. Absolutely. I, and I, I'm super proud of the show. Um, I'm in two of the three seasons that are out. The first season was another guy playing the part of Reed, mm -hmm. uh, a British guy, way cooler than me. <laughs> it's hard to sh fill his shoes. <laughs> but anyways. Like, no, I was the second and third season. I, no, I, was, no. I was season two and three, no, which now Netflix cool. has all of the. I know, you know it's so rad. Cool. Aiden loves it. And his little friend Maddie and his friend Parker. Shout out Maddie and Parker. <laughs> they were all like so excited to cool. meet Patrick this morning. Oh church. yeah. Oh, I, that's right. I met oh, kids were great at church. Yeah. It was super fun. Sometimes it's difficult for kids to see I know, the through hair. the beard and the hair. So that was awesome. Oh. That was, yeah. Really proud of that show. Had a blast. Love working with kids. Now I have a one year old so it's kind of all, you know, in my world. Yeah, for sure. Are you going to, you, do you want to act more? Or like, what are you doing now, Patrick? That's a good question. Um, going forward, uh, a lot of my life right now is about um, music and probably more specifically um, ministry in yeah. the church. A, a lot of what I do now is almost uh, the role of a pastor in the church. Um, 
but I've always done music, and uh, so this past year I decided to jump back into the studio after close to ten years uh, after recording the album that we did as a band before. So awesome. Um, and I just released my first solo album. It's a all new worship songs with one cover. We we had to cover my favorite hymn, "How Great Thou Art." Um, but yeah, the, I, I don't know if you want me to talk about Extravagant God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm kind of a fan too. I mean, he's my friend, but I'm a fan. And we have a CD and it's signed. Oh my God. Because it's like, yeah, heck yeah, I'm supporting my friend, but he rocks and he loves Jesus. And hey ho, yeah. Heidi <laughs> and her husband, John, uh, are good friends. We've known each other for probably 13 or 14 years. We wow. did ministry together. We worked mm -hmm. with the youth uh, about a decade ago. We were working at the same church yeah. with the youth and stuff. But yeah, and your husband is, you know, I'm like not worthy hanging out with this guy. He's an Aww. amazing guitar player. <laughs> But, um, he but, does wrong. <laughs> but I've been super grateful lately. Uh, Heidi and John have been such a huge um, support of this music. And a lot of what I'm doing right now really is totally listener supported because I'm doing it independent. I, mm -hmm. I, I produced my own album essentially with the help of my community and my family and stuff. Um, it's really kind of been a homegrown project. We prayed about it came together, we raised money, we went in the studio, and I think we have a product that's just super encouraging the church and an opportunity for really just anybody who's interested in Jesus, Christianity, those kinds of things, to get exposure through music to what it is that Christians believe. Because the album kind of centers around the story of what Jesus has done when he came to earth about 2,000 years ago. The word extravagant to describe God is signifying God's crazy, totally wild love that He has for mankind, for us. Um, and He loves us so much and, and extravagantly that He would lay down everything. And if you're a Christian, you know the, the story goes He laid down His very life so that we could have a relationship with Him. So that's what is at the heart of extravagant God. And it doesn't happen apart from the community that's been around us to make this music get out there. So I, here's the album. I'll do a little oh. promo of my album. Um, it's called Extravagant God. You, uh, that's my daughter. Hey, um, yeah, she's not napping. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, she will be in about five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> wow, what do you got there, Evan? That looks cool. <laughs> what is that, Patrick? Wow, Ev. We have really we've gone we've gone to a point where now my daughter is promoing. Can I show them the CD? Can I see? Let's just show them real quick. You can hold yeah. it with me. This is extravagant, God. <laughs> oh, Evan. The album can be found on my website. You can uh, buy physical copies there and also digitally download it. My website is patricklevismusic.com, and then the album is also on iTunes, so you can download it straight up. If you have been a fan of Patrick Levis over the years, Frank and um, So Weird and Fresh Beat Band, hello, Fresh Reed, um, <laughs> leave your comments below. I'd love to connect a bit more with you guys. And then consider being a fan for the future. This guy is awesome. I'm telling you, we've known him for a long time and he's just rad. Thank you for Welcome. having me be a part of this uh, this episode. Is that what you call it? Vlogisode? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can you say goodbye? Can you say bye bye? Aww, bye bye. Say I love you. Little kisses. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> 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 Aww, so cute. Um, all right. Thanks for tuning in to all their napping. See you next time. Bye.